everybody welcome to my channel my name is Bola thank you to all my new subscribers and if you haven't subscribed yet what are you waiting for huh it's fun over here as you can tell from today's title we're talking about how to start a vending machine business and if you see me looking down at my notes it's because I have everything written down for you so I don't forget anything before I go into it I want to give a shout out to my cousin for hooking me up with my beautiful shirt like I love it thank you so much I'll be getting more from you you know um so without further ado let's get right into it the first thing you want to do when you want to start a vending machine business is research just like you're doing right now I hope you're thinking of starting a vending machine business I hope I'm right okay so when you're doing your research you want to find out where to get a vending machine what type of vending machine do you want to do do you want a, a, a pizza vending machine eyelashes vending machine food snacks or uh, is it combo like drinks and snacks do you want a drinks machine do you want a snacks machine you know there's different or oh, gumball machine there's so many vending machines uh, that you can decide to go into or you can do all it's up to you the next thing you want to do is find a location and this depends on how big or how small you want to start if you want like those gumball machines of course you'll be searching for locations where kids are you know kids go to right like a playground or an indoor playground for kids because kids are the ones that you're tending to um, if you want a, a combo machine you're looking for apartment buildings a barber's shop next thing once you have your location is to register your business and I say this in this way because if you don't want to go into a vending machine business and you've registered it already then you know like what are you going to do with that right but once you have your location then you know it's something you want to do right then you can go ahead and register your business and it doesn't take long it's like it's you can it can be done under five minutes you can just give them a call and they give you the business number right away right and if you don't want that you can do it online like enter all your details and you get your number right away so it's very easy it's very fast once you've registered your business and you can have um, a business number and have multiple trade names on that, that business number. So for a sole proprietorship, you are only entitled to one business number, but you can have multiple businesses under that business number. I hope that makes sense. Um, say, okay, an example is, um, say you have a, a restaurant business and um, you have a vending machine business. You can have those two businesses or three businesses under one registration number. I hope you get it now. So the next thing after you get your registration number is you want to do, you want to register a trade name. And uh, the trade name might take a day or two. If you walk into a registry, you might get it right away. So you register a trade name. Now, this is where you pay a fee for me it was $50 something um, so you get that trade name and that's the name you want your business to have for me it's this Adebola vending so um, once you have the registered uh, you once you've registered your trade name the next thing is you want to open a small business account and you go to your bank and tell them this is what you want and they will do their banking stuff you know uh, and then you get your small business account now once you have your small business account you can go ahead and place your machine so you know you're in business right you have your business account and if you have a vending machine that has a card reader that money goes straight into your business account right for me I have my machines have card readers so it opens it up for people that don't have cash they don't have the excuse of saying oh I feel like a drink but I don't have cash no you can pay with your card so um, you want uh, to place your machine that's the next thing once you place your machine then you can stock it with your snacks and then you price your snacks 
right or drinks depending on whatever machine you're dealing with so once you do all that you're in business people can buy from your machine they pay and if you want a video on how I price my vending machine or how to price your vending machine let me know comment below if there is anything I've missed in this video and you'd like to know comment below I can do a Q&A if the questions are like 10 and above I can do a Q&A where I answer all these questions also if you want to know where I got my machine let me know anything you want to know I'm here for you guys okay comment below and I got you all right so those are the things also there'll be another video coming after this which will be the items you need to start a vending machine business so watch out for that video okay I'll see you guys in the next video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up okay and be safe guys see you soon